see this maker? There's over, I bet you there's over $150,000 spent in this storage unit right here. Wow. This is cool. So we got more sheets. What do we have here? Fanatics, those should be like warriors or something, right? Ooh, come on. Ha, 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 ha. Oakland Raiders, guys. I don't even know where to begin to sit here and go through this stuff and show you guys. That's why we're not really making a video. This is not something where you sit here one box at a time. We will do it. We will do it. Guys, looks like right behind Michael, the shoe vein is freaking nuts. Shoe vein right there. Look it. Oh, holy sh**. Wow. We just got inside here, guys. Look at all of this. All these freaking shoes. Shoe, shoe, shoes. And look at all this. Waterford, 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 Waterford. Pirates, we're done loading. That trailer is full. I think we have a whole nother load still here, at least a good portion. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to go back and make videos and see what we got. Why do I spend 30000 on a storage unit? Pirates, we spent, what was it, Michael? $30,000 on this one storage unit. Everybody's going to probably laugh. They're going to think I'm nuts. And they've been doing that for, what, 15 years? But why'd they come? This is what we have left from that. We sucked all that out of there, all this out of here, and we got a frick ton left to go. We're gonna hear it, extract it, see what we got. Michael, I just wanna get one word from you. Um, you're wild. Wild. That's like my dad, they called him Wild Bill from Pleasant Hill. Funny. Jessica, what do you think? Ooh. Let's get started. Oh, that's cool. That's oh, really cool. Wow. That is really freaking cool. That is, I wonder what that's worth. Yeah. I want to be very careful with that. Mm -hmm. To be a chef or something, you know, like there's a lot of cooking stuff, but this is vintage. I think it's an old ice pick. It's she just went on piece. somebody's eBay. Oh, okay, it's just shoes. We got some Pumas in size 8.5 women. Those are not bad. But they're it's like all one size though, so it's gonna limit. The one thing is it's a, it's a great women's size. It's a kind of, I think that's a very common woman's size. I don't know. We got some Sigerson Morrison, some BCGB, and some Vince Camudos. I'm not exactly press, impressed with the Vince Camudos. I feel like they are not as sought after. Select group. Oh, what kind? Halloween, Christmas. That's Halloween. It's, more, it's not Halloween, that's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay. Waterford? Yeah. Put it on the side. It's a bowl. Christmas, Christmas night bowl. All right. Maybe 50, 80 bucks. This is the type of box I want to see. Tons of boxes like this. Peter Tom's Roth Retinol Fusion. That's probably 20, 30 bucks right there. I don't know what it is, but I'm just gonna speculate. But I like this right here. I got one. Okay. A Sterling Silver Judith Ripka Heart. Is this Sterling? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I thought I was hoping that was jewelry, but I'm definitely still excited about Judith Ripka. Another one? No, it's like an ornament. Yeah, that's the same thing I got. No. Laura Geller Deluxe size. There's another green one. They're probably still like 50 bucks. Remember like the one we saw the Crooks Folly? Yeah. But these are like boxes where she went and just bought like 50 things, right? Like 50 nice things. So Laura Geller baked, balanced, and bright. And I'm gonna guess, ooh, come on, come on be a very rare a ring a ring yeah. right. oh, oh, oh did it come out of this bag no it came out of this bag okay Judith Ripka 925 thailand look here's a yellow one with some citrine 
Those are good though. These are like these are like a little bit of bucks a piece right here. Believe it or not. Let's see what we spent on them. We spent. It doesn't say on this one. Size ten rings. So. Then I got a couple more coming out of here. Imagine one unit is just full of these type of boxes. Another garnet. And then there is two more in there, guys. We got a total of five rings out of that. Holy smokes. Yeah. That's, well, that's a little... Heidi Doss is all right. It's kind of a costume jewelry brand. Open it. Looks like we got some more Heidi Doss. Come on, come on. Oh, look at that. That's a freaking beautiful pumpkin. Looks like we just got a lot of... I like these boxes, though, like this, because you got to figure it's just all, like, $20 to $100 bills, right? Even a lot of 50 average. Yeah. My favorite boxes in this unit. Oh, see, they're trickery, too. What do you think it is? Uh, philosophy. Wrong. Oh, okay, maybe not. There's a pocket slip. <clears throat> we're cheating now. Yeah, we're cheating, because there's just a lot of it. Callista set of 12 ion hot rollers. Oh, one. so this is... They're like $169 for two. Well, yeah. No, it's... it's okay, yeah. 79 a piece she bought four of them mm -hmm. i have a couple of those on my ebay the smaller versions already <laughs> a lot of work going on guys a lot very kind of hard to just fathom whether or not we made profit i know we're going to make profit but it is a little it gets you a little scary when you just start looking at things those are like set, those right there are de temptations dishes these big ones she spent 124 in each box of those oh Okay, so this is looking kind of cool. I haven't got quite got there, but Jess found one of these a minute ago. They go down to 50, but see hot top sale is 175. And we're getting into a little vein of them. These were advertised. It's kind of funny. I only saw one in the other unit. The one that went for 14 grand, if you guys remember, uh, in my reels. But they claimed that there was unit with a bunch of david's cookies and it's kind of funny because the only david's cookies i've found so far now are in the very back of this unit it makes me wonder how well somebody was advertising what is all this dust on here spider droppings spider droppings yeah some dead bugs from the spider you might like one of those you might want to look into them there uh so we got one I Love Lucy doll, two I Love Lucy dolls, three I Love Lucy dolls, four, five, six I Love Lucy dolls, seven, eight I Love Lucy dolls. If we can average 100 a piece, we got over 1 30th of our money back right there. Look, another David's cookie jars, interesting. Another David's cookie jars, real interesting. We have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I love Lucy dolls. Interesting. Pirates, just like that, we are back at the warehouse. So much to do. Um, already going back and looking at stuff. Look at this. We got this came out of the eight thousand dollar locker. We're back here. I'm trying to process that one first. So you got to see some of the thirty thousand, but we got to go through this. And I just found these three pieces here. I think that's three hundred dollars right there. So that's not bad. I mean, one box if every one if every every one of those like 200 or so boxes was 300, that would be a landslide storage. But definitely happy we're finding cool stuff like that. I hope you guys have been paying attention to the videos cuz we have been finding stuff. Give you guys a quick tour. We're just trying to keep everything organized, unfilmed, cool stuff from the center of the $30,000 locker. It's like randomest stuff. We got stuff set aside going for eBay really cool box like this one came under the thirty thousand dollar locker probably aired already but that was one box that had pieces of jewelry makeup everything 
this is the shoe wall haven't even gone through them i know that's dansko those are 100 bucks a pair mark fisher what are we looking at 50 to 100 vince camuto will be lucky to get 50 the donner pilsners waterford for days waterford for days um tons of sunita the philosophy is overwhelming you keep it coming in here this is what we've been or what's took been time consuming is getting through this type of stuff this is from the seven thousand dollar locker we got all of that listed so what you see there is only from the new ones but this stuff moves just sold this for 160 just freaking now just sold this for 38 i think i took an offer on um it just adds up you think about like right there is 12 bottles those are like 30 bucks a bottle and we're finding other type of stuff too but this is the process we're going and this is actually from the avon locker sold several of those for 25 bucks each and yeah we're gonna just have to do it one piece at a time check this out guys we got this right here all of these guys cost a total of 413 talk about loving what's this movie again drawing alice in wonderland i was drawing a blank and a beautiful heart and that one's another 147 dollar ornament and then we're finding more jim shore those are like 30 40 bucks a pop right there this is fun guys that's another hundred and that's a hundred and fifty dollar item i'm working this down to math how many hundred and fifty dollar items do we need i have this in so many ways we need 30 to win we need 300 100 dollar bills we need uh 980 40 dollar bills we need $1,920 bills. This right here, $160. Coming in strong with lots of Sam Edelman out of the uh, the unit for sure. I'm not, I've never knew much about Sam Edelman before, as I've heard of the name, but now I'll probably become a little more familiar with it. She pays 75 bucks a pop. They're brand new, very similar to all the styles that she purchased, but uh, what am I gonna sell them for? I'm hoping that's like 50 bucks a box there. I'm gonna just start right now and put this right on Facebook Marketplace and see if there's anybody who's uh, uh i'm gonna start trying things already guys so i learned a lot in my learn the christmas unit the christmas unit this last year and the model unit which michael's been working on making the ads the christmas unit i learned a lot because um the way the process i sold it i had to start changing my game adaptation is everything just doing things and expecting it to work forever it's not the way because the world will adapt it's cruel it's cold it'll cut your throat and take everything if you're not adapting with it right so i had to start using marketplace individual pieces and i ended up selling a lot of stuff via that with that system so i'm going to try that on this stuff i already made one ad for temptations i said hey i got this stuff x amount price from here and i'm going to you know have things laid out and I'm going to try the same thing with some Valerie, with the Kringle Express, you know, because that's like back burner listing stuff to me. Right now, I want to focus on the makeup, the philosophy, the purses, the electronics, the little things, get the, the you know, this, 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 this type of stuff right here. Like we're doing en Ensco or uh, Jim Shore, Waterford, you know, little little pieces that's really faster to list. And then we'll get to this breaking out each thing with the styrofoam and hopefully try to alleviate shipping a lot of that stuff as well because um, I don't want to send a lot of ceramic temptation plates that may sell for 40 bucks a pop and worry about the problem with them breaking. All right, I'm sure that's probably another $30 box right there at least. So they're probably at least 10 bucks a piece, probably more. No, nope, we have what it looks like that. And I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna guess $12.99 to $28.99, somewhere in that ballpark, a piece uh, on a sold comp on eBay, just speculating. I don't see a receipt here anywhere to look at, but I we've actually been looking. Jess has been doing a lot of research, and that's when uh, I like that she does that because that's how you learn. A lot of people are like always asking me, how in the hell do you know so much? And I'm not saying I know a lot and more than any other seller, but the reason I've learned what I've learned is all from eBay sold comps and selling stuff. And so this is two digital candles. I think there might even be a remote in one of those. They're flameless. Could hard to tell. I know some of the other ones earlier had a remote, but don't underestimate those sweet we got our second set of washington redskins ornaments i think that's a pretty neat find made by the nfl naturally yep nfl brand new in the box it's got to be at least 25 maybe 20 dollars, but at least 25 
And this stuff is not cheap, guys. This is $175 on the online. Oh, here's a used one for $150 on eBay. I'm going to probably try to slap mine up on Marketplace, see what I can do, and go from there. This guy was purchased for $59. I just took him out of his original box. We got more Mr. Christmas trucks and ornaments. We just have so many of these guys. I'm thinking 20, 25 bucks a piece on eBay on those, so that's $75. Okay. What's up? Le Creuset. I like that. That's a hopefully a minimum of $100 right there. And it looks like, oh yeah, another one. We got one in hibiscus and coastal orange. That's freaking awesome. Those are probably 100 bucks a piece. That's cool. There's four of these right here. Uh, they come with a pack of film. And they're little Polaroids. They're kind of cool because the girls use these at home. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you real quick some things we got. I was going through this. I ran out of camera space. But we got a lot of stuff we pulled out at the after I was my battery died. That's probably like 100 bucks right there. This right here is just another Christmas order. Look at that. 175 bucks just in frosted de decorations. We found another. What do we got here? More decorations. Those are worth 20, 25 bucks a piece of the $63 order. These right here are cool. Those are like 50 to $100 a box there. We've got bags of things. It's just stuff everywhere. This right here, probably 40, 50 bucks. Ensco. Got another, another one of those Joy Hosey Marins. Look at this, guys. These right here. She spent. We just listed some of this yesterday. Here's a $255 order. These were like 60 bucks a pop, 70 bucks a pop, right to eBay. These right here are probably 75 to 100 bucks. Right here, we're selling these for I think 44 dollars, and it doesn't even make sense. Some of it, like. This was a nice little order right here. It doesn't tell you the price, but that's 75, 75, and I think 50 to 70 each on those. And we've got another Snoopy figure here. Actually, two of them. Tell me that ain't freaking nice. Look at this bad boy right here. This is a thousand dollar freaking toy right here, guys. A thousand freaking dollars for this one. I don't even want to mess up. It's the Shining by Monster High. Thousand dollars just for that one little freaking toy right there. And I think that is all I got through yesterday. Oh, another Waterford that we saw in one of our videos with the lovely Jessica, 749 with the tax, 842 and shipping. And that's the second one. We opened one of those up the other day. What else? Do I have anything else I didn't get a chance to film yesterday? Sticks picks, guys, in the house. And I'm going to go through a few more things here. Got boxes to go wrap this video up and i'm gonna go through a few more of those things and show you what i got we went picking today that's what we do every saturday uncle chris he went he was pickless michael picked a pick a box of video game picks i can't show you because it's you have to go to his video but this is my picks guys i bought this bag this box a clothes this purse just to give you an insight of kind of what the stuff i was buying look at this emporium capwell 32 dollars and what uh it was 14.95 Oh no, that's the wrong year. Um, I'm gonna guess like probably like the 80s there. And I bought all that for just shy of 100. And I bought this Lego seal for 10 bucks. You never get a deal like that on Legos. $10, I didn't even look it up. I didn't hesitate. I saw it was sealed. There's not too much compromise integrity to the box. That's very important. There's very finicky Lego buyers. I'm like, there's a crease there. Can you go $30 off? And so you have to be really careful that. 10 bucks, couldn't pass it up. And now I'm about to show you what I got in here. You tell me if this is a wise buy. First off, I got all these slippers for a dollar a pair. Look at that. Vintage never used. You ever seen a flip-flop like that? Guess? No. No, you haven't, have you? One freaking dollar, right? Look, look at this. One freaking dollar. I don't know what these are worth. I just know they're very freaking old. They're made in USA. I couldn't... I couldn't... They were a dollar ninety-nine freaking a hundred years ago. Look at this. Dead stock. Another one. Dollar. I bought these for a dollar. I'm going to look them up in a minute. If you guys know, you can help me out here. Easy. I know. I saw him. He, he thought I was nuts. I they, he was freaking crazy. I think they charged me 15 actually for this amount of these. And I threw in this one purse coming up too. So that's actually probably maybe cheaper than a dollar. 
look at that those are some nice hand embroidered made in japan oh gosh these guys are nice right here look up look up angel threads by barry slippers michael dead stock michael likes price checking my stuff he tried to price he thought i did bad on that for 10 bucks he's wait he's waiting for me to make a mistake pirates he just wants to go ha dad see you have to get up a little earlier than that michael Look at that cute little purse. Two bucks. Would you have bought this for two bucks? Look at this right here. Look at this gold threading. It's like the vintage military patches. You wouldn't buy that for two bucks? I wouldn't have You that. should always buy something like that for two bucks. If there's no holes in it and stuff like that, you should make it rain. I think I hit a jackpot. I've just been telling Michael and Chris this. These are all tough tees, and that's a vintage brand. They're not the like the highest dollar, but they're like dead stock. This one is... I didn't see a tag on here, did I? This one's handmade, I think. A tough tee set with the tags right here, top and bottom. A tough tee that was no tags, but vintage and in great shape. Another one, size medium. And then we get into these coats. Check these out. I'm not as impressed with the coats, but I still think they're cool. Look at the tags on this. Brand new, and the store was 50. Um, nice, still got the tags. Probably, what is that, 60s? Nice sequence shirts. Another cool one. Good shape. That's a pop and tags coat right there. This is actually really nice. It just sucks because it needs a little cleaning right there, but it's really cool work. Talon. And then we're gonna start getting some crazy stuff that's really got me a little excited just because some of these dresses can be big bucks. Look up, for example, type in the word gunny sack dress and just look at the sold comps on eBay. This is like a top right here maybe, or a dress. Silk piece right here. This one's all right. I just got it because it was all cool. This is a really cool pair of, no, that's a skirt. Really nice skirt. This baby right here, very nice. Look at the tags, made in California. Look at that dress right there. Guys, I paid, I'm just gonna tell you right now, for all of this clothes and the slippers, I paid $95. Look at that. And now we're gonna get into ones that I think are pretty cool again. I mean, this is cool, but I think there's some really, oh. This one is made by Gino. Tell me that isn't darling. Mako receipt, it's a pair of like hippie style pants. It looks like a skirt, but there's actually two legs there. Look at that thing, oh my. Beautiful pieces, guys. Tag still on them. Um, Vega, Strega. I'm and very intrigued by this. This could, I don't know the brand, but you, this could be anywhere from like 20 to like 500. Very much so on this one too. Very much so. Bernie B, I gotta do some research. That is a nice dress right there. Man. Sequence. Tags, still on them. Mako. Vintage clothes is hot. This is true vintage. Comment below what you think this lot is worth. I I'm really intrigued. At least very excited. I got up and went, to went and picked today. And we also got this lot pile of slippers. And I comp these at like 20 to 30 bucks a pair. Pirates is incredible. We were just going through this unit like mad. I'm just taking it one thing at a time. I figured this was all closed, right? I have one here and I have one here. I just unfilmed. I got that one to go. I just filmed everything, you remember? When we pulled these out, it looked like just clothes and cups in there. I pulled out that, that one and this one and I filmed them. First off, we find all this clothes right here. Not to mention, guys, this little bag right here popped out. <laughs> SS Ovalcut Gemstone and Sleeping Beauty Tennis. Sleeping Beauty Tennis. I don't even know what the frick these are. Um, 18 inches. Sleeping Beauty tennis bracelet. This is another, she spent three grand. She spent three grand on this whole order right here. <laughs> Let's see what's in here, guys. Oh my freaking Lord. Gemstone and sleeping and sleep paradox. Look at freaking that. I don't freaking know. She spent $500 on that. Yeah, it's 500 freaking dollars on that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 
That is freaking nuts. Holy crap, guys. A $3,000 package right there. I don't know. I don't know what to do with these. Maybe these can go home, just go and uh, take them to the bank. Put them in a safe deposit box for now, because these are some money. I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. I'm going to have to look them up, see what they're actually worth, because I don't know. They're special silver, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, and five, guys. Five of them. Now I'm even more interested looking at last blue freaking... Now I'm really intrigued to look in this last one right here, guys. Look, we got one more. Should we just get to it right now? We got one more right there. Well, let's get right to it. Let's just see what's in here because I'm excited for seeing that three thousand something dollar receipt for those five pieces. You never freaking know. And we found a three hundred dollar purse that the love of my life is gonna keep up. And what is this? She had weird taste. She literally. Liked the Seahawks on top of liking the Niners. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Just, uh, and the Ravens. Other size 2XL hammer pants. I have no idea what those are worth, but maybe a lot. We got two of them. Two pairs. One pair, one pair. Let's see here. What else do we got? We got uh, 40 uh, Raiders ugly Christmas sweater. So that's kind of cool. There's people out there who like that type of stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Two. That's an XL and an XL. We got a white and a black version. Nope, that's just two different shirts. She really went to town. So, I mean, we're looking at 15, 20 bucks a piece on that. That's another Kate and Mallory. I got some of those sitting there. Um, I think I pulled some of these out. She must have really liked this one to put it in. What do we have here? IQ collection. I don't know. All right, all right, Chris did take his 49er blanket. This one's wrapped up in there. We got some Raider pants to match the Raider shirt. Oh, a little cat, little cat shirt. And... Oh, that's going to be another cat shirt. Yeah, bruh. Cat shirts. And we got a freaking Falcons blanket, guys. That is freaking phenomenal. So, I guess no secret treasures hidden in this one. But that's all right. Because the last freaking blue bag, I'm very excited what we got there. So, I'm not going to complain about that. We got shoes literally just everywhere, guys. It's freaking nuts. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Sunita, 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 Sunita. Looks like they're all different colors. Teal, blue, red, black skulls. All right, let's get to this one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, almost, I'd say at least probably 900 bucks right there. Just every variety of these things. That is, you can see those sold right there. Oh, those are beautiful. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and say something pretty. <laughs> pirates we are here relaxing in bed i got some type of bite on my legs both of them and it is totally threw me off my game i've been stuck kind of in bed trying to pull off this 30 day series in the meantime and um today at 4 p.m pacific standard time 7 eastern we have a live unboxing we're gonna back the truck and we're gonna sell stuff with that being said i hope you guys can come there'll be a link below you get a 15 dollar credit we don't know what was coming out and it's gonna be a one dollar each item starting it could be a christian lewis baton shoe it could be a lock and lock tupperware it could be a disney toy it could be all sorts of things but i hope you guys are enjoying this it's taken this was a really unique unit i didn't plan for this to drag out so long but this would have been um I tried to film as much as I can. I didn't want it to drag on, but it's it's monotonous, right? And we're finally getting to the $30,000 unit because I had this plan to do this and it's taken a while to get this going. So we probably have two or three more videos in the 30,000 and then that will be a wrap. It'll finally be all done and we will be liquidating. We're literally liquidating everything you're seeing. You'll see in the next video, if you don't see it here, 
over 300 Doonies that we found. Over 200 of them are gonna be in one show on September 10th. We have a show coming up on September 3rd, over $300,000 in jewelry from the safety video from about a month ago. They broke into it. We have some big shows coming up. This Sunday, all these shoes, over 300 pairs, going for a dollar each, including the Christian Lewis batons that we've already found and we have them set aside. It's nuts. And that's just our Sunday shows. We still do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You guys need to come check out. I'm telling you, I'm not trying to pull your chain. This is the biggest thing I've ever done in sales and one of the biggest things ever on whatnot and storage history. So come check it out, guys.